Shalom, Shalom, Israel. I want to start by giving all glory and all the praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rukah, Kadash, and the brother Amwan for down the table for the camp of prophets in Babylon. Come with another quick hit to this pain, Pahya Ba'ashim, Yahushai. Lord willing to edify and feed the sheep. Double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone who teach them well. Peace and blessings to the brothers who push this work into sincerity to the scattered abroad. Um, currently, um, in transit, <clears throat> and I want to uh, get into a short class of just you know, speaking on the behalf of, you know, Esau Edelman, a so-called white man, you know, his ass is going to get, uh, you know, he's going to get taken out the game, man. All right. His devil going to go, uh, he's going to have to go through what we going through, man. All right. You know, brothers catching hell on this side. All right. We all have to, you know, work and slave and do all these things according to, you know, that's what we have to do on his, you know, on his time. Okay. In his kingdom. Well, a lot of these things are going to be flipped, all right? The, 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 the rules of his, you know, this wicked kingdom is going to be flipped, man, all right? This devil is going to go into slavery. He's going to have to experience all these things, but double, all right? But I ain't going to speak too much. I'm going to grab the scriptures. Lord, what is that fine? <clears throat> this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse, verse 9, start verse 9. Uh, it says, uh, if any man have an ear, let him hear. All right? You got two ears, you got one mouth. All right? Verse 10, it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And this devil, Esau, Edom, has led us into captivity, man. All right? When you go into Deuteronomy chapter 28, all right? This devil has played a part, a huge part. All right, a part of our curses of uh, leading us to captivity, man. All right, this devil has beaten our backs, putting us into slavery, sold us in auctions, auctioning us up to other nations. All right, to sold us in pretty much to our enemies. You know, like the scripture says, he that leads us uh, into captivity shall go into captivity. So these things are about to switch, man. You know, our suffering's about to come to, you know, you know, ultimately a peace, all right? Because the rule, the, 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 these things the, that we're going through, all right, the curse is about to flip, man. All right, it says, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. You know, Esau came in, you know, when you think about it, man, he came in and killing and, 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 and murdering, all right, to get his land, all right? For uh, Christopher Columbus, for an example, when he came over and killed all right, the tribe of Gad, man, or the Native Indians, all right, and Roman as well, the Indians, man. Esau came over here and, and, and slaughtered, raped, and, uh, and robbed, all right, to, to, you know, pretty much establish, you know, what he wanted, right? So he, say, he says, he uh, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So he's off on me, you know, took out the game, man. All right, the scriptures talk about the saints shall take the kingdom. <clears throat> so lock it, let me get over right quick. The scriptures talk about um, the saints shall take the kingdom, man. All right? We're going we gonna to come and, and, and we're going to get busy, man, with these devils, man. You know, or, or the Lord going to bless his men, his uh, elect men, all right, 144,000, to receive those powers, all right, to establish that dominant, all right, and righteousness. Okay, and, and push with uh, push that fear of y'all by Shemel Shai amongst the world, man. All right, so people gonna get right with the program, but this devil gonna know, you know, you play the hand and, 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 and kill him with the sword, you gonna get taken out the game. It says, uh, let me turn it in right quick. It says, Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, right? So, this is something that we patiently waiting on. All right, because we've been suffering for so long. All right, we know according to the scriptures that, as the scripture says, man, this devil, you know, he he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity. So he got something to pay for, man. You know, uh, let me grab this right quick. It's not gonna be too long. Something quick through the spirit, probably. Uh, Y'all about Shemal Shai, Lord willing to edify and exhort you, Arky, man, because this devil not gonna be ruling for long, man. The scripture says that uh, Revelation twelve and twelve, uh, the devil shall come down having great wrath, knowing but he have so, but a short time. So this devil doesn't have much long to rule 
and continuing his wicked rulership, man. All right. All this wickedness that he accumulated up, he's going to have to pay that tab. He's going to have to pay that tab. He's going to have to own up uh, to his uh, wickedness, man. He's going to have to take accountability. All right. And that accountability, he's he going to have to, he gonna have to drink that full cup. All right. Um, this is Galatians. Oh, yeah. Galatians. Um, let's see. Galatians 6 and 7 it says, Be not deceived. Yahweh Shemal Shai is not mocked. For who, uh, it says, uh, For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So Esau came over here and, you know, took this lands and, and, you know, did it through uh, rape, rob, and murder. Okay? Through violence. Through death. All right? This devil uh, has played a huge part in enslaving us. All right? When, uh, you know, 400, 400 years and, and, and plus all right, of us being in slavery to these devils, they cut our rods off. They killed our children. They took, they raped uh, our woman. Okay? All these things that Esau have done. All right? He gonna have to reap, man. So he gonna have to take accountability for the tab, like I said earlier, that he is extendedly uh, ran up. All right, he gonna have to run. He gonna have to. He gonna have to. Uh, he gonna have to taste that, man. All right, he gonna have to taste whatever and uh, uh, the things that he have played a part in and put his hands in. He gonna have to taste that uh, that wrath. Okay, I'm gonna grab this and um. Like I said, so I'm quick through this video. Probably about smell shy. That was on my mind. <clears throat> I'm grabbing this. I'm gonna close it out. Where is it? Deuteronomy 30, verse seven. It says, and and it says, uh, the Lord your Bashmel Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. So everyone has played a part in uh, enslaving us and beating us, man. You know, starting off with Esau, Edom, so-called white man, as you know today, all right, that's in rulership, according to uh, Job 9.24. These devils are going to go through these curses that was given upon, uh, that was put upon us from Yahweh Shema Shai, man, for our disobedience, all right? These curses are going to take these same like curses that was in, that's in Deuteronomy chapter 28, from verse 15 and down, are going to come upon our enemies. It says, on them... That I hate thee and his devil Esau Edom has had a perpetual hatred and his wickedness has polluted everyone else was that uh has been along with him. You see? It says, which per persecuted thee, and thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord your Bashem Shai, and do all the do all his commandments which I commanded thee this day. So coming back to the time things being changed, and this devil gonna have to feel the taste of wrath of Y'all about Shemal Shad, all right, for his, uh, you know, wicked acts upon all right, the apple of the Lord's eye, which is us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, all right, the, 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 the 12 tribes, you go on there, man, all right, the Lord loves us, according to Deuteronomy, uh, uh, Deuteronomy 76, because we are a special people unto him, all right, but these devils going to pay, and they're going to reap what they sow. And they're going to feel every last little bit for what they have done upon it. The Lord's chosen people, man. You know? So soon as to come, the things are going to switch. As the scripture says that uh, um, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that follower. All right? So Esau, being a so-called white man, is going to be taking out the game. He's going to be taking out a rulership. He has nothing but a short time and Jacob's going to rule. And it's going to be forever and lasting. All right? This is, this is, the, this is the times where, where we're in. Of seeing this try uh, uh these things flip, man, like a light switch. Alright. So that was just on my spirit, Lord Willis, out of finding exhorting to the Aki and Aqua them that's listening. I want to give all glory and praise to Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shah by Hashim Kakadash. Once again, double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, teaching we well. Till next time we say, Shalom. DTA the ball, DTA ball, ball soon.